right guys good morning it's currently 7 a.m um today i took the day off roki has surgery today he's gonna get neutered um kind of sad about it i'm pretty worried it's just this is the first time i ever do that to like my own puppy so i don't really know how it's gonna go down so i have to be there by 7 40 and it's kind of like a 24 25 30 minute drive we're gonna go take him and see how things go Okay guys, so I just left Rocky um, in the vet. Um, they're gonna be calling me when he's ready. So, se quedó ladrando, so. Okay, uh, right now I'm gonna go to DMV. I did order some customized license plates, so we'll pick those up. So yeah, and that's our next stop. So today's um, Rocky's first day post-op. He did get fixed and um, he also, had another little issue which made the surgery a little bit more complicated one of his testicles um, no se bajaba we tried to postpone the uh, surgery for quite some time just because um, we wanted a way to see if his little if his testicle came down um, and maybe not fix him um, I've never done that to my puppies before I mean I've only had like one two <laughs> But, um, I don't know, I feel like I don't really like doing that to them. But in this case, we had to. They did tell us that if we kept him like that, uh, eventually they, there was a high chance that he would get cancer. Because where, yeah, you know, they, they, they're supposed to drop for a reason. Um, so yeah, they told us that um, they were thinking that the testicle was supposed to be up in his abdominal area but it was actually on one of in um his inner thigh which they did say was pretty rare and thank god we actually went on with the surgery yesterday when we picked him up we picked him up at around three and it killed us seeing him he got really excited when we got there but after that he kind of just probably did anesthesia and everything was a lot for him um so yeah that's pretty much how it went uh my boyfriend went, went with me to pick him up he got super happy to see him so yeah and we, we picked him up they gave us medication for him he got microchipped um is that's how you called it uh, before we picked them up we did went and got him a new bed i like this one a lot because it's kind of like por donde él se mueva, it's gonna adjust to his like body so it's good they also recommended us to get him this collar instead of the e collar which is like the cone um because he is a pretty big dog and he is very active he wouldn't destroy things as easily and this is super comfortable on him it's we fill it up with air here and it just goes around him and i try to give him breaks uh, in between the day like this morning, he, you know, where I was working, he was sitting next to me and that way I kind of kept an eye on him. And over, obviously overnight I do take it off um, and hope that he doesn't like flick himself or anything. You could put his collar in here and then it also has this strap right here as well. Yeah, uh, this one was $34 uh, and I got it at Petco. The box definitely wished we did this when he was a little bit younger um, just because he grew super fast like right now he's just nine months um, and back then it would have been so much easier to care for him because right now it's like going down the stairs is I feel like it's so painful for him and I feel like we would have done when he was younger or smaller easily pick them up and stuff so yeah guys and we got home they did tell us to serve him just half of his portion and to start the medication right away. So they gave us three uh, different medications and we tried to 
give him food right away he didn't take it um he did take water so my boyfriend what he did was he dissolved the medication in the water and that way he could you know take his pills this morning was pretty rough too um i tried to feed him and he wasn't taking his food i was like then how was i supposed to give him the medication if he wasn't taking anything like he's not getting up he seemed very tired very ill and i was like and there's pretty much no way i could help him because he wouldn't take his medication um he was taking a little bit of water but that was it um i tried to do the same thing as my boyfriend did but um it wasn't working he wasn't taking anything so i decided to call the vet and let them know that he wasn't eating um the doctor did say that because his surgery was so complicated and they did add an additional antibiotic injection um that he wasn't surprised you know and also well he was pretty sore he is pretty sore um so he wasn't surprised so i was like okay that's a good sign so then i felt much comfortable you know with that and i was like but how am i gonna do it with the medication you know like i'm i don't want him to be in pain so they did tell me that i would have to force them down um i tried to do it i tried doing that and he did growl at me um so i was like yeah we're not gonna do that uh but then out of nowhere he just got up and he goes straight to the door and i was like he wants to be and sure did he did and i was like you're like he seemed like at least he was capable to tell me you know i want to go pee um again we do live in apartments so i was like kind of scared of taking him down the stairs but he did good definitely slow but you know we, we did it um and then later he did get up and eat by himself so i right right away ran and put his medication in there and he did eat um so yeah he's definitely much better he's more aware of his surroundings um yeah he like right now he did go he did go you know do his business outside and right now he is eating his bone oh my this morning i would give him his bone like show it to him to see if he wanted to eat it and nothing nothing i went to the store super early got his favorite food nothing i was so scared i was like why did i do this to him but um yeah that's pretty much how his first day post-op is going um we're definitely getting somewhere now um so yeah uh they did tell us that it would take seven to ten days for him to recover fully um and then i would be taking him to to for them to t check his sutures um but yeah so that's pretty much how it's going i hope things get better i hope he eats better tomorrow um but yeah i'll keep you guys posted definitely the whole process i'll be recording it um but yeah this is day one his classes did get canceled for next for yeah for next week so he has a full more than a week to recover and, and feel better without missing his classes which is pretty awesome too so i'll keep you guys posted on how his recovery process goes Rocas, let's go Hey guys, so we got home from the vet today. Uh, they told me that Rocky's doing great, um, so we could continue with our routine, going on walks, um, and then his uh, training starts 
Wednesday. Yeah, this Wednesday. So, um, yeah, so he's doing great. He was super scared when we got there. I feel like he knew what happened to him there because uh, when the nurse came out, um, he just wouldn't go inside the clinic. So they took us like to the room, right? The vet took him where the doctor was. Um, he didn't want to go. And all I see was like, he turns back and he just gives, gives me like this sad face, like saying, why, why are they taking me? It was, yeah, it broke my heart, but yeah, he's fine. We only stayed there like for like not even five minutes. It was quick. And they just told me it was that he was doing fine. I did have him and I did have insurance for him. And I was hoping that they were gonna cover everything, or at least like they said they were gonna cover 90% of the fee. They didn't. They literally only gave me back $40. He got microchip. The the lady did tell me that they wouldn't cover that, which um like that was fine. But I'm like I was pre pretty upset about the rest of the stuff. I don't regret paying that. I feel like even if I didn't have insurance for him, I would have, you know, still done it. Because that's another thing. It's like if you're gonna have a puppy and you wanna give him his best life, I feel like that's, you just kind of have to, you know, llevarlo sus citas and cuidarlo bien. I was pretty, pretty upset with the insurance. I ended up just calling and canceling it. I was like, like it's not even helping. Hi, you guys. So this is it for this video. Um, again, Rocky is doing great. He, como dice mi novio, ya la hizo. Um, you know, it's been past a week since he got the procedure done. He's eating, he's eating well, he's playing. He's Even like the second day, he was already, the third day he was already jumping. I'm like, bro, chill. But um, yeah, guys, so thank you so much for watching. I hope this video is helpful for those um, who might be getting their uh, puppy neutered. Um, I feel like I would have watched the video before I took him. I feel like I would kind of be aware of what was going to happen. Again, the first day I was paranoid. I felt like, see the por si, you know? Um, yeah, I felt like, you know, like when will I see him back to normal? But anyways, you guys, so this is it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I appreciate all of your support. So thank you so much. Bye.